In this video, we're doing continuity in K problems part one, the two-sided limit exists portion. So in example one, we want to solve for K to make f of x continuous at x is one. Now notice that this piecewise function is defined uh, at x is one uh, to the right of x is one. It's defined one way and to the left it's defined another way. Well, remember, the first rule for continuity is the two-sided limit has to exist. And for the two-sided limit to exist, we need the limit as x approaches from the right to be the same as the limit as we approach from the left. So we set the right side limit and the left side limit equal to each other. That way the two-sided limit will exist. And remember, the first thing we always try with limits is plugging in. So if we plug in a 1 in both places here on the left side, we would get 2 plus 4. On the right side, when we plug in, we would get 3k plus 1. Well, so now we have 6 is equal to 3k plus 1. 3k is 5, so k would be 5 thirds. That would mean if we plug in a 5 thirds into k into the original problem, then indeed the left and the right side of the limits would be the same. Let's try another example. This time solve for k to make f of x continuous at x is 0. That's the key word, continuous. That means the two-sided limit has to exist. That means the right side limit and the left side limit have to be the same. So we take the limit as x approaches 0 from the right side of 3 sine 4x over 5x is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 from the left side of 2k plus 1. And a nifty little trick to remember whether you're coming from the right or to the left. Uh, this arrow seems to be pointing to the right. Therefore, right side limit, this arrow seems to be pointing to the left, so left-sided limit. Now, we've worked with this limit before, and there's a shortcut. We could plug in and get 0 over 0 and do L'Hopital. Uh, if we did L'Hopital, we would get 3 cosine 4x times 4 over 5. Then when we plug in, we would get our answer, or we know that we can simply multiply the 3 times the 4 and get the 12 over 5 as our limit. On the other side, when we plug in the 0, notice there's no x value, so that's just 2k plus 1. Now, if you're really not comfortable with fractions, go ahead and kill the fraction on the first step. Multiply the 5 to both sides. You get 12 is equal to 10k plus 5. Subtract 10k is equal to 7. k is 7 tenths. Let's go ahead and do one more. So in this third example, we are solving for k to make f of x continuous at x is 1. So again, we need the left side and the right side limits to be equal to each other. So limit as x approaches 1 from the right side, x plus 1 over x squared minus 1, equal to the limit as x approaches 1 from the left side of 3k plus x. Well, on this left side limit, if we plug in, we get 0 over 0, which is a L'Hopital. So let's go ahead and do the derivative top and bottom. We would get a 1 over 2x equal to. Now over here, when we plug in the 1, uh, we would get uh, 3k plus 1. Well, this limit on the left side of the equation is 1 half is equal to 3k plus 1. And again, if we're uncomfortable with our fractions, let's just go ahead and kill the fraction on the first step. We get 1 is equal to 6k plus 2. So then we would have negative 1 is equal to 6k, and k is negative 1, 6. Hope this helps.